Right, let's clear up the existing confusion that some people have between static pressure and dynamic pressure. So I'm sat in the car park, a uh, nice warm summer's day. I've got the window open and I stick my hand out of the window. What is my hand being subjected to in terms of pressure? Well, every square inch of my hand has got 14 and a half pounds in round terms of pressure acting upon it. So why doesn't my hand fall down? Well, because there's another 14 and a half pounds acting underneath. So they balance each other out. Static, not moving air. Simple as that. If the air is moving, it's not static. If it's not moving, then static is what it is. OK, nice hot day. Going to drive around the car park. Going to stick my hand out the window to get a bit of a breeze. Now my hand is feeling movement of the air. So is that dynamic pressure? Not quite. Dynamic pressure is the moving air on it, but my hand is still subjected to that static pressure. So what I'm actually experiencing is total pressure. If I want to know the difference between the two, in other words, how fast is the air moving, then I have to subtract the static pressure from the dynamic pressure in order to give me the answer I'm looking for. Simple as that.